Hello everyone, welcome. In this session, we're going to start day one Pilates. You'll need something to sit on, that when you sit on it, your hip bone is higher than your knee. If you don't have something tall enough by itself, you can add a pillow on top of your seat to elevate yourself so that your hips are above your knees. That will help your lower back sit up nice and tall in its natural arch. Just like the back of your neck, your lower back has an arch. And just like the back of your neck, you don't want to think about creating that arch when you sit. You want it to just be there. Getting high or off the floor will encourage that arch to appear naturally without stress or strain. I'm also using a balloon. If you don't have a balloon, you could use a small towel. Just something to use that you can hold on to. You can always hit pause and join me when you're ready if all those things aren't nearby. I'm moving on. First thing, we're just going to take sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Sitting up tall. Exhale to release them. Great. Inhale, shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale to release. Great job. Inhale, shoulders up towards your ears. Sitting tall. Exhale to release. Now, as you inhale, try and do the release part that we just practiced, not the lifting part. Exhale, see if you can relax them more. It's just the release part. Inhale, not lifting, the opposite, releasing. And exhale, see if you can release them more. Don't draw them down forcefully, just relax them. One more. Deep breath in. Try and relax your shoulders, not lifting them. And exhale, good. Take your prop of choice and take it under between one upper arm bone and the side of your ribs. Now, as you inhale, breathe right to where that prop makes contact with your rib cage. Expand that part of your body while relaxing your shoulders. And exhale. Take your mind there. Can you expand and breathe into where the balloon makes contact with your shoulder, uh, body and not breathing up into your shoulders? And exhale. That's right. Breathe right to where the prop makes contact with your shoulder, to body, not your shoulders. God, that's hard to say, huh? And exhale. So you're trying to relax your shoulders and breathe into your ribs and lungs, not your shoulders. Breathe to where your prop makes contact with your ribs. And exhale. Great job. Take it to the other side. And again, take your mind. Breathe. Expand the ribs right next to where the prop uh -huh, makes contact with you. And exhale. Release. Inhale, inflate the ribs, not your shoulders, right where the balloon is. Think about breathing there. As you exhale, release the air like you're opening up a valve and deflate more. Mm -hmm. As you inhale, draw air next to the prop, not up into your neck and shoulders. Exhale to release one more time. Again, inhale. Breathe right to where the prop is against your ribs. Great job. Exhale to release. Now take the balloon in the front of your ribs, right? You can have your fingers interlaced there and just let your arms kind of rest. So the weight of your arms kind of pins the balloon against your ribs, not below your ribs where there's no bones, up into the ribs where there are bones. Breathe into the balloon here. Feel the ribs press into the balloon. And exhale, release the shoulders more. Uh -huh. Breathe where the prop makes contact with your ribs. Your balloon is not up by your shoulders as far as I know. There's no prop up there, so try not to breathe there. And exhale, great job. Breathe right to where that prop makes contact with the ribs, where your lungs are. And exhale. One more time. Again, breathe right to where the prop makes contact with your ribs. And exhale. Really great job. Now move the prop over between the front of the ribs and the side. 
right? So it's not on the slide like it was, it's on the front angle. Breathe into the balloon there. Again, not your shoulders. The balloon, expand the ribs because your lungs are inflating. As you exhale, can you release your shoulders more? Shoulders release on the inhale. And shoulders release more on the exhale. You don't need your shoulders to inhale. That's the whole point. Again, breathe to where your lungs and ribs are. They're not up in your shoulders. The shoulders are attached to the ribs, but there's no lungs there. One more time. Inhale right to where that prop makes contact with the ribs, sitting up nice and tall, feet flat on the floor. And exhale, great job. Move the rib, the prop to the other angle, right? Not on the side, on the front angle between the breastbone and the side of your body. You can interlace your fingers there. Breathe into the prop here. Relaxing your shoulders, exhale. Great job. Breathe into that prop. Let it expand the ribs into it. Relaxing your shoulders, exhale. Again, you want to breathe to where your lungs actually are. Expand that part of your body less to other parts where there's no lungs. And exhale, try and be a little more efficient. Again, breathe right to where the ribs are against that prop. Great job. And exhale. Nice work. So your lungs are where your ribs are and not where the ribs are not. When you're breathing, think of expanding the ribs and not your shoulders and neck as much. Now we're gonna come on to the floor. Feel free to use that towel or a pillow. Take your prop behind you and lay back on. Take your hands behind your head, keeping your upper body lifted up. The balloons are right around the middle, maybe where your bra strap is wood or could be. Stay here. Breathe to where the balloon is. Relax your shoulders. And exhale. Great job. Breathe. Inhale right to that balloon. Try not to lean back when you inhale. Expand your ribs. Expand your lungs. And exhale. You're doing really well. Again. Inhale, right to where that balloon is. Mm -hmm. Exhale, what you feel is mostly your neck. Take a break or move the balloon higher towards your neck. It'll be easier. Inhale, right to where that balloon or prop is. And exhale, you can also use a thicker towel here to get you higher off the floor. We'll make it less intense. Inhale, right to where that prop is. Great, and exhale. Now, you're gonna move your body so the prop makes contact with the back angle, not the side of your body. It's between your spine and the side of your body, around your bra strap. Let your legs be where, go where it's comfortable. And again, inhale right to where that prop is, right where the ribs are. Try not to breathe into your neck and shoulders. Exhale, and again, inhale right to where that prop is. Expand that part of your body. Great. And exhale. Take breaks as you need to. Great job. Inhale right where the ribs are. Your ribs are not in your neck or your top of your shoulders. And exhale. One more time. Great job. Breathe right to where that prop is. Nice big breath in. Great. Exhale, and then you're going to move the prop to the other side. And again, between your backbone and the side of your body, right around where your bra strap is. Again, move the balloon higher towards your neck to make it more comfortable. Again, here, breathe in to where the prop makes contact with your body. Think about expanding your ribs right where that is. And exhale. Really great job. Breathe in right where that balloon is. Inhale. Mm -hmm. And exhale. Take breaks as you need to. No big deal. Inhale. Expand your body right where that balloon is. Big breath in. Mm -hmm. Exhale. Great job there. Again, inhale right where the prop. 
trot makes contact, can those ribs open up like the pleats of an accordion. And exhale, keep relaxing your shoulders one more time. Great job, Dave. Inhale. You got it. Exhale. And gently, carefully release. Take your time. Come back to your seated position. Oh, let me change that camera again. It's just me here in case you're wondering. I have no fancy editing. Mm -hmm. Just me and you. Does it, do you. Sorry, you don't need your prop. Take your hands and your thighs, feet flat on the floor, sitting tall. Again, inhale all the way around to all those parts that we just connected, like a ring around you, expanding. And exhale. Great job. As you expand that ring around your body, can you relax your shoulders and sit up tall? And exhale. Great job. Inhale, that ring expands as you grow taller, relaxing your shoulders. And exhale, really great job. Again, inhale, expand that ring, relaxing your shoulders, sitting up as tall as you can. And exhale, one more like that, great job. Inhale, expand that ring all the way around your body in all parts, front, middle, back, sides, and every place between. And exhale. And rest. Excellent work. So that wasn't so awful, right? Thinking about breathing to where your lungs are located mostly and less to where they're not located will really help your movement practice, specifically in Pilates because there's a lot of focus on Breathe and expanding your ribs and lungs. But if you don't know where they are, what that feels like, that can be confusing, right? So notice I'm trying to help you understand that you want to breathe in without tension to your neck or shoulders. I'm being conscious of not saying to draw them down or to push them down, but rather think of ease and relax. You may find that as you relax, the next time you breathe and think about it, you may be able to relax a little more further, which may mean that you're holding on to tension that you weren't quite aware of up in your neck and shoulders, specifically when you inhale. Because many people inhale like a bicycle pump trying to press the air into their lungs, but you don't have ribs up there. If instead you put less, expend less energy and focus to your shoulders, and more to where the ribs are, because there are soft tissues that do move to expand your ribs along with your diaphragm. That will help you have a more efficient movement practice and help you be calmer and more focused during your Pilates practice. Thinking about those principles for the rest of your practice will really help you out long term. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. See you next time. Take care.